Nicole? Hey, Star, what's up? The usual. Can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. Uh, wanna go to the Halloween dance with me? I can't. A double half cap, no foam, caramel macchiato with an extra dollop of whip and a half a teaspoon of chocolate sprinkles. Would you like foam in that? Foam is my arch enemy. What would you like, Adriana? Coffee. With foam? Show the foam. A double half cap, caramel macchiato with no foam, an extra dollop of whip, and a half teaspoon of chocolate sprinkles, and a coffee. With foam. I know. What's wrong? Makes you think anything's wrong. Oh, you have guilt written all over your face. I bet it has something to do with you trying to ruin your claustrophobic mother's evening by locking her in a closet. Am I close? Not even. Then? I feel guilty that I don't feel guilty. Where's the fresh coffee? David, it's past noon. Yeah, I thought I'd get up early. Get a jump on things. Get a jump on things? Like perhaps finding some place to stay? Dorian, don't be silly. I have a place to stay. Well, obviously, you don't have a robe. Robes are for girls. Well, as usual, you are failing to get the big picture, all right? I, I have no objection to the fact that you're trying to capitalize on the fact that your half-brother is Asa Buchanan's son, all right? What I do object to is the fact that you are ruining my chances of getting Clint back. That looks old. You told me last night that Adriana and Vicky ruined your chances at Clint. Are you forgetting everything that you know about me? I'm not going to give up on getting Clint back any more than you're going to give up on getting your hands on Ace's millions. Billions! I may have no choice. I may never get my hands on that money. Unless Spencer ends up as fertilizer in the Croaking Hill Cemetery. How about that? I certainly wasn't expecting a visit from my dear big brother. What a nice surprise. Although, gauging by the look on your face, I'm guessing that you didn't come here to invite me to be in the family Christmas photo. Kevin, right now, I don't think he's strong enough to do this. He doesn't need this whole damn thing brought up again. Absolutely. Well, is there another excuse that we could give him to get him to take a DNA test? It is all over the media, sir. I don't see a way to keep him from being reminded that Spencer Truman is his son. I mean, if Truman is his son. But just to be safe, we keep him away from the television and we keep all the newspapers... Of what, may I ask? Are you three up to? We were merely discussing the predicament of that quick little fellow who plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers? I know who the hell the Pittsburgh Steelers are, Nigel. Well, that one player who wears the helmet and has one of the numbers on his back, well, he's found himself in quite a dilemma. Nigel, enough of the bull. You think that I can't tell when you're whispering behind my back? So take your damn little secret somewhere else. Mamos, now where the hell's my paper? I need the business section. It's right here, and you have got some explaining to do. Pastor Buchanan, big bombshell. I have to admit, you still got it. Why are you here? I'm working.
what she deserved. She's claustrophobic, Adriana. Yeah, well, if she wasn't, then locking her in the closet wouldn't have bothered her much, would it? But she nearly popped a couple veins on her forehead. Yeah, well, I should have let her pop a few more after what she did to us. Well, you don't want the phone? I never asked for phone. All right, then put it in mine. You hate phone. You're just being a brat. You must have me confused with somebody else. Is that everything you ever dreamed of? And how? All this time, I've been wrong about the phone. Well, you weren't wrong about my mother. She's heartless. No argument there. But you're not. That's why you let her out of the closet so quickly. It was a moment of weakness. Uh-huh. You're not the sadistic monster she is. You don't enjoy watching other people suffer. Maybe I'm more like my mother than you think. You are everything she's not. That's why you let her out. I shouldn't have let her out. I shouldn't have been so easy on her. I just hope I left her in the closet long enough to ruin her chances with Clint. Well, if you let nature run its course, she'll ruin her chances all by herself. God, it'd be so great if Vicky and Clint got back together. I have to find out what happened last night. Oh, here's your chance to find out. Ooh, I'll be right back. Hi, Mrs. Davidson. Oh, Fernanda. Hello. I haven't seen you in a long time. I just... I want to know every little detail that's going on in your life. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hi. Well, I can't stay very long. I, uh, I have to get back to Hugh. Oh, uh, let's step over here. How is he? Well, he got through the critical period, but he still has a long recovery in front of him. I know how much this must be killing you. you finally get to know your son. And then this. Well, at least I'm with him now. Thanks to you. Otherwise, I, I might never have found him. That's kind of why I wanted to meet you. I'm hoping you can help me do the same thing for Todd Manning. Yeah, I'm sure in your warped mind you believe you still work here. But take it from the boss of the newspaper, you don't. I kept this newspaper afloat when you were on death row. Oh. Brava, brava. As you can see, I'm alive and well now, so thank you very much. Please jump back on your broomstick before a house falls on you. Oh, as you can see, I don't take on the drill. <sighs> see, so you're just going to you know, weasel your way back into the house and now back onto my paper. I'm doing what I have to do. And so am I. Now give me security. Hello? That's very cute. You know, I can haul your ass out of here myself. Oh, come on, Todd. The headline's great, but I can do better. I doubt it. Really? What about this? Dastardly Doc doesn't dodge death. Truman, I don't think you're going to be invited to any family gatherings, even if, in fact, you came up with proof that you are family. Oh, I have proof, all right. And that would be? My mother's word. She told me all about it, Bo. How Asa seduced her, got her pregnant, dumped her. Well, I'm not as trusting as you are. You see, I never believed the word that you've said, and I don't believe you right now. So I'm going to need a DNA specimen. Fine. I already told you. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, well, your uh, attorney doesn't seem to think... Casey works for me. I make the decisions. Mm -hmm. do love being in control, don't you? I think being locked up in this cage must really drive you insane. You can't decide when you're going to eat, what you're going to eat, who's going to come and pay you a visit. And I'll bet you it lights out. That must really get to you. You want a sample or not? All I need is a swab of saliva from inside your cheek. Sure you don't want my blood? Because that's what I'm out for. Your blood and the blood of every one of you damned Buchanan's. Paul, why don't you just Keep give it... Keep your hands off! Damn it. Truman claims that I'm his daddy. 
Please, Mr. Buchanan, remember your heart condition. My heart is fine, Nigel. It's my damn stomach that's sick. That bastard is no Buchanan. Bastard he may be. But that doesn't mean he's not a Buchanan. She looked familiar. Where did you get that? Where you were hiding it. In a drawer. She also happens to be Spencer and David's mother. And one of my best girls back in the Nevada days. I spent months wondering what you were doing with this and how it has become painfully obvious to me. You had an affair with her. She bore you a son. Spencer Truman is your son, isn't he? No! That's a damn lie and you know it. Well, there's an easy way to prove it, Paul. I'm looking for Todd's kid. How can I help? You and Spencer delivered him. <sighs> yeah. And when I saw that Margaret was alive, I, I should have gone straight to Bo. Spencer has a way of making people do things they don't want to do. He told me he would hurt Bo if I did. Well, he can't do anything to Bo now, so you're free to help, right? I would love to help, Rex. I'm just, I'm not sure I can. I tried making a deal with Spencer. I told him I would tell him who his son was if he would tell me where Todd's kid is. I don't know, you just can't force Spencer to do something he doesn't want to do. I still think you can help. So, how's your health? Oh, I'm feeling fine, thank you, thank you. Good. How's the family? They're, they're good. Everybody's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. How's Clint? Uh, Clint is, is fine, yeah. He's such a great guy. I'm so glad he broke up with Dorian after what she did. Do you think he's great? Clint is a fine man. Gosh, you know, you two just seem like you would be so perfect together. Have you seen him lately? It was you then, was it? Me. Who lured Clint and me to Capricorn to punish your mother. Hey. Hey. All right, now. I thought the original plan included Spencer's death. Yeah. Yeah, Spencer gets executed for Thomas McBain's murder. Then I sue Asa for a billion dollars in the name of his long-lost son. But that was before Spencer named Hugh as his sole heir. No, it doesn't matter. Hugh hates his father, wants nothing to do with him. Yes, but having something to do with Spencer and something to do with Spencer's money are two very different things. I got Hugh to sign over all rights to Spencer's assets to me. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. The signature of a semi-conscious burn victim is going to carry a lot of weight in court. When you put it that way, it sounds fishy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what else to do. Wait a second. What if... What if Spencer never changed his will? What if he just told me that he changed the will? Yeah, but surely he'll get around to changing his will before his date with destiny. <laughs> Unless I move up his execution date. And how do you plan to do that? I kill him. It's okay, I understand. No, no, you don't. I'm going with Brie. Oh. I, mean, I didn't want to, but nobody asked me. And I mean, I'm new, so I don't know a lot of people. And the dance is Friday, so when Brittany asked me, I said yes. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Well, listen, I better get to class. Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. Like he would ever go out with you and he could have me. Dastardly dark doesn't dodge death. That's catchy. <laughs> so you plan on killing him to make up for sleeping with him? If you're doing that for me, I say bless you. 
Now find your gun you can use. Nothing would give me more pleasure. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. But I'm not talking about killing him. I see. He's, uh, he's going to die of natural causes. I'm saying that we should stab him with the pen. It's mightier than the sword, remember? We used to work well together, Todd. And we always use this as our weapon of choice. And we can do that. We can put pressure on the DA's office every day. We can put Spencer on the front page with his crimes and his victims. That's a good idea. That might work. <laughs> Get the hell out of my office. Look, I know that you can do this by yourself, but you have to admit it. would be a hell of a lot more fun working with me, wouldn't it? Yes, I delivered Margaret's baby, and he was he was a beautiful, strong, healthy little boy. Did he have any birthmarks? Anything? Not, not really. Not that I remember. Uh, did Spencer give any clues to what he was going to do with them? Well, he he claimed that the child had died, and he left the warehouse a bloody mess. So I would buy that story. But you didn't buy it. Well, he was lying. I I pray that he was lying. I mean, as evil as Spencer is, I, I don't believe that he's capable of killing a child. But I don't know. I've been wrong about Spencer before. I married him. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> You've more than made up for that one. Well, I've got to get back to Hugh. But before I do, I'll try one more time to get something out of Spencer. I appreciate that. If I do, if he tells me anything, I'll call you. Thanks. Okay. Tell Hugh I hope he gets better soon. Thank you. All right, it was me. Why? Because I heard that Dorian was meeting up with Clint for a romantic night out, and I wanted to mess it up. So I thought, what better way to get back at her than to have Clint hook up with her worst enemy? Thank you for the compliment. Well, you and Dorian don't get along. That's no secret. And I thought you and Clint hold sparks, maybe. So I locked Dorian in the closet. You locked your mother in a closet? Adriana, you know that she's claustrophobic. Well, you know what she did to me. Honey, what she did to you was appalling. But you must not get so obsessed with getting even with her that you start to become something you're not. How dare you? How damn well dare you? I mean, you didn't talk about killing Spencer when he stopped our wedding, when he ruined our lives. Oh, no. You, you have spent your entire adult life letting Spencer make you believe that you were a murderer. That turns out that you weren't, and now you are seriously entertaining the notion of turning yourself into one? You're right. I don't have any other options. Yeah. I know the feeling. I honestly thought that I had a shot at Clint. No, I know that I have a shot at Clint. I still do. It, 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 it's just, David, when he found out that you were staying here in the house with me, he got really, really jealous. And, of course, that's when I had to do, you know, what I do best. You did that thing you do best with Clint? Oh, no. Of course not. Oh, you mean you tricked him into meeting you at Capricorn for a romantic dinner. And I had on this really gorgeous outfit. You looked very alluring. If I do say so myself. If you didn't say it, I was going to say it for you. Thank you. But that is when Adriana locked me in my closet. What? Yes. Doesn't she know about your problem with confined spaces? My problem with con what you mean my claustrophobia, my horrible panic attacks? Yes, she knows all about them, but she did it anyway. No doubt she thought it was retribution for what I had done to her. But really, I'm just astounded that she would have done something so terribly cruel. She wanted to ruin my night with Clint, but, but, but I nearly had a psychotic break. She succeeded in pushing Clint and Vicky together. 
Yes, yes. I mean, she succeeded in just about ruining my life. So what happened? Did you get to Capricorn? Oh, yeah, just in time to see Vicky and Clint together, laughing and drinking the champagne that was meant for, for Clint and me. I felt, I felt like I had been stabbed in the heart. Wow. Surprised you didn't return the favor, did you? I was just too humiliated. Huh. So, uh... Do you really like Clint? Oh. David. I think I may be falling in love with him. It's easy to prove that Truman is lying. We'll just compare your DNA with his. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to give you spit. We can do this one of two ways, Asa. We can do it the easy way or the hard way. Because I'm not going to be humiliated one more day in the press. This has nothing to do with you. You are my husband. You are my lover. When Emma worked for me, and you swore to me that you would never, ever look at one of my girls and that I was the love of your life. You still are. Then fess up to what you did. You slept with Emma. It all fits. The question is, did she bear you a son? So I get my DNA test or I am out that door permanently. You would walk out on me over this? So what's it gonna be, Asa? All right. Take your damn sample. I'm gonna tell you, you're all gonna feel like a horse's butt when you find out that Spencer Truman is as much of you can and as Nigel is you. I appreciate your cooperation, and if my father... Our father? Assuming Asa is as cooperative, then we should have the uh, test results by tomorrow. Yeah, well, I already know what the answer is going to be, Bo. I'm a Buchanan, all right. The one that Asa threw away along with my mother just because we were too damned inconvenient. Well, we'll see. She made me promise, you know. She made me promise to destroy the Buchanan Empire and every card-carrying Buchanan right along with it. Now, what kind of son would I be if I didn't honor the last wishes of my poor dying mother? And I will respect those wishes, Bo. As soon as I get out of here, if not sooner. Well, you can rant and rave all you want about getting even with Asa. The truth is, you put yourself in here. Asa didn't make you shoot Thomas McBain. He didn't make you frame Todd Manning for a murder he didn't commit. I'm perfectly well aware of my alleged credits, Bo. Setting you up, infecting Kevin. Anything else you want to add? Driving without a seatbelt, perhaps? Go ahead. Make yourself happy. Slap another six hours under my sentence. Have Wiley here bring me bread and water. You're a sociopath, Truman. You don't care about anybody but yourself. Now, is that any way to talk to your little brother? Well, look who's here. This day is full of surprises. Is it true? Is what true, Paige? That Ace is your father. Scout's honor. So that's why you hate them all? If you need the simplified version page, fine. Yes. It must have been really hard growing up with a father who wanted absolutely nothing to do with you. He made me the man I am today. You make that sound like a good thing. You know, before I found Hugh, I used to 
stay up at night worrying about whether my giving him up caused him pain, whether he, he felt abandoned. He had better parents than that, thank God. It's too bad you didn't. Is there a point to any of this, Paige? If you're Ace's son. If? There's no ifs about it. You grew up bitter and selfish because you thought your dad didn't love you. Don't do the same thing to Todd's son. Let him have a chance to know his father. Now, why would I do that? You didn't want me to know my son. As a matter of fact, you didn't even want me to know I had a son! And Todd Manning will never find out where that baby is. He's going to live with the pain of not knowing his son, just like I have to live with the pain of losing Blair. Let's say that I took you up on your offer and gave you your old job back. Shall we? You understand that we'll have to cover every aspect of this case? Absolutely. Every little twitch, every little smirk on Spencer's face. All right, and you're aware that Nora has assigned a new prosecutor to try the case? No. But whoever it is, I hope that they're out for blood, and I hope he goes straight she... for Spencer's... It's a woman. Yes. And I think it's appropriate that we have her picture on the front page tomorrow. I think that's probably a great idea. All right. I'm going to have a photo shoot with her, and I'm going to interview her. And that's going to be okay with you. Why wouldn't it be? Because it's Evangeline. Evangeline? Yes, she's the new prosecutor. Well, she's the defense attorney. Well, not anymore, apparently. Uh, Nora has decided that uh, she can't handle it by herself and has called in reinforcements, and Evangeline's the best. Well, she's a bad choice. Is that right? Yeah. She's a bad choice. She's too emotional. She was involved with John. She's going to make tons of mistakes. Spencer is too smart. He's going to see that. one of the best attorneys in Pennsylvania. She very rarely loses a case. She lost your case, Todd. You were innocent. She couldn't even get you off. How do you expect her to, to convince Spencer? I don't know. I guess I'll have to ask her that tomorrow. Okay, you know what? She doesn't have any experience with prosecution. It's not even her case. She's going to be playing catch-up the whole time. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to interview her. I just have to You know what? I'll, I'll interview her. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm the editor-in-chief. I'm your ace reporter. <laughs> what? I think I can handle this one. Is this jealousy or something? No! <laughs> what do you think this is? High school? Miss Kenny said you can't go to the dance because you were being a total bitch in class. I'll find a way around it. How? My daddy will fix it for me. He's an upstanding citizen, you know. Not a psychopath like your father. Take that back. You are so in denial, Manning. Now do me a big favor and go crawl back into the hole that you came from and leave. Why don't you just shut up and leave me alone already? Hey, Brittany. Hey, handsome. <laughs> hey, so I heard you were banned from the Halloween dance by Miss Kenny. Uh, temporary setback. I'll get around it. She's really pissed off at you. I heard her tell the bio guy that you embarrassed her in front of a guest speaker. Oh, she's totally overreacting. You can't go, Brittany. So I guess that makes me free agent. What? Then you can go with me. You're on drugs. He would never go with you. Cool. It's a date. So we're supposed to wear costumes to this party, you know? I heard. I was thinking I was going as a guy named Cole who plays football. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> You're really into this, aren't you? My family's always been into Halloween. It's a Manning thing. That's actually kind of cool. The Mannings are nothing if not cool. <laughs> so what are we going to wear? Surprise me. Give me your address and I'll pick you up around 8. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up? What have you got? What have you got? I got that you drove Margaret to the airport and saw that she got on a plane to Thailand. Do you remember anything else? About anything? Spencer, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe. Two or three-year-old dark blue four-door sedan. 
beige interior, license plate, I don't know. That's thrilling. Spencer and the baby got in, just Spencer got out. Adrian, honey, I understand that you're very angry with your mother, but aren't you in the slightest bit concerned that you may wind up to become just like her? That is the last thing I want, but I can't just let her get away with what she did to me and Rex. She needs to be taught a lesson. I think maybe she's suffered enough. She's lost you, and she's lost Clint. Yeah, but you know my mother. She won't stop trying till she gets us back. Uh -huh. Do you think she can win you back? No, but I just wish I could be as sure of Clint. Well, that is Clint's decision to make, and only Clint's. I know. I just think that he should know all the facts so he can make an informed decision. You know, if Clint decides to get back together again with your mother, there's nothing you can do to keep them apart, just as there was nothing she could do to keep you and Rex apart. You know, you and Rex seem like a lovely couple, and I think you're very happy with him, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And focus on that. And stop trying to get back at your mother, okay? You'll be so much better off, trust me. Thank you. Why couldn't I have had a mother like you? <laughs> Paul, I want to thank you for not biting off my finger. <laughs> Damn lucky I didn't. I'm going to need more than saliva on a swab, Asa, from you. I'm going to need to understand your relationship with Emma Bradley. Renee, I don't even remember the woman. So that's why you kept her picture all these years. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but Mr. David Vickers is here. Well, tell him I don't want to see him. Well, I don't want to see you either, but I guess it's too late for that. Vickers, this has nothing to do with you. I assume you're talking about Spencer Buchanan? We're talking about your brother, but we're not talking about you, so run along, David. Oh, I didn't come here to talk about Spencer. I came to talk about Dorian. Clint, could I talk to you for a minute? Would you excuse us? Sorry. All right, what's this all about? Dorian wanted to get you to Capricorn last night because she wanted to ask your forgiveness. Adriana found out about it, locked her in the closet, and sent Vicky to meet you instead. Did Dorian send you here to tell me this? Dorian has too much pride to send me. So much pride, in fact, that she didn't even want to confront you and Vicky when she saw you together last night. She was at Capricorn? And she was heartbroken. She was really falling in love with you when you dumped her. Did she actually say that? You didn't hear it from me. What Dorian did to Adriana is awful. She's not all bad, though. There's a lot of good in her. And a lot of that good is actually great. I'm aware of that, but are you? The reason I came here is because I want Dorian to be happy. Apparently, she thinks if she's with you, she will be happy. So the sooner I step back, and let this play out, the sooner she'll come to her senses. It's been good talking to you. And remember, I was never here. What was that about? Uh, I'll you get tell it. you later. I got it. Oh! You? Here you go. Late again. Sorry. Don't worry about it. So, I'll uh, see you Friday night, 8 o'clock. Sounds good. <laughs> Interview Evangeline all you like, Todd. 
still want a job. Are you sure? Positive. And if I say no? Try it. Wouldn't make any difference, would it? Doubt it. All right, fine. Fine, fine, as in I have my job? You have your job. Okay. Now get the hell out of my chair. Sorry to interrupt. I got a lead. Sounds pretty good. A case I'm working on. Okay. I gotta go. Well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Anytime. My door is always open for you. You know that. Bye. Adriana. I just have one thing to say to you. You keep your hands off my daughter. You interfering, condescending bitch. I'll get these to the lab for testing, and by this time tomorrow, we'll know if Spencer Truman really is Ace's son. On the next One Life to Live. Her sole mission these days is to make my life miserable. You are not ready to be back here where John worked. Michael, it's me. Oh my god.